Hey guys, this is Junior here, aka Mustache Tom, here to review Gemini Man. Of course, this is another catch up review that I've been meaning to do. Uh, <clears throat> so, here we go. We follow Will Smith and Will Smith, a younger Will, cloned Will Smith, um, in this movie. Uh, it's a pretty action oriented movie, but we'll get deeper into what actually happens in said movie. Uh, so, Will Smith plays a character named Henry, and he's on a mission uh, as an assassin, trainer, guy, FBI, secret ops, team, whatever, uh, to take out some guy, and he does so with a few uh, helpers on the train. Uh, he barely misses the shot, or barely hits the shot, I should say. Um... And he meets up with his leader, wanting to retire. Uh, he talks about how he's killed 72 people, uh, to whom he has assumed that all of them were bad people. Uh, and he wants to just go out and fish. So he meets up with his friend Jack, uh, one of his army co-op buddies, and wants to... and sees this new person who is uh, framed, uh, getting information on stuff and doing all that. It doesn't, that little part where he's getting all this info doesn't really affect the movie, I don't think, so they probably could have cut that scene or replaced it with something else, just them interacting. Um, nonetheless, we see that there are people listening in, this other gov- they're the higher-ups on the government listening in from the satellite and the two people at the top want to take him out uh, that being Henry um, so he goes back he talks to this lady um, who ends up go he ends up going on a date with her and he she ends up also being an FBI agent um, we also see that when we cut back to Jack, that his uh, little plans get ruined as uh, a team is getting out and killing him. So we get a flashback of young Henry in the water. So we get this little thing of like he's afraid of water. Um, and we see uh, more of his people. His other teammate, Marino, I put on my notes, uh, gets taken out. So he knows that they're probably going to go after that lady, FBI lady, to, uh, whose name I wrote eventually, but I didn't write it at the beginning because I didn't catch her name at the beginning. So I do apologize for that, but nonetheless... Um, so after this attack and after Henry's like oh gosh the two bad guys uh, talk again about how they're gonna take out Henry uh, him retiring is just gonna be bad I guess um, you know once you're out you're you have to be out officially or whatever um, anyways um, he talks to her about uh, what happened and they meet with this other guy who uh, gives them some a diff uh, a, a, like I think it was either a ride or a di of additional information. <clears throat> but then cut to Henry at the uh, talking to uh, Agent Dole about which is one of his bosses that says he's not uh, he's wasn't in on you know this these attacks that have been going on. Um, and we hear them talking about the Gemini Project, uh, which is a secret project which replaces people with tech. Um, and, yeah. So Henry uh, was quote-unquote killed and brought back as part of his training. We see that in flashback form. Um, and as soon as he snaps out of that, he gets attacked by a sniper on the roof. And he sees himself very briefly, the clone, I'll just call it the, the clone, the younger clone, the clone, just for simplification. 
Uh, so Will sees his younger clone and f flees away, um, trying to talk him down, uh, get in a bike chase, so it was quite a long action sequence. Uh, gets attacked pretty bad, uh, and the clone knocks him down and almost gets in on the attack, like finishing it. But the cops arrive right on the right at the most in uh, the most convenient point in the fight when the clone is about to win. So uh, Danny, that's her name, by the way, I wrote it at this point, uh, helps him out, and he has they have their other friend that's just with them too. Um, so he's looking for people who he can still trust and get information out of whatever. So they go on a plane and we cut back to the clone and um, we see him sort of talking over his assignment. Um, we cut to a practice session where we see people training um, and then we see Danny uh, giving uh, Henry some advice, uh, and after the fact, she does some DNA stuff, and turns out that yes, the clone is officially like 100% his. Um, so Henry meets this Yuri guy um, in this bath spa, and they, he Yuri is essentially there to sort of go over this exposition about uh, the attacks that have happened, the the leader of the clone people, um, all this stuff. So anyways, after that, Henry and uh, Danny go uh, talk in the car with some bitty, uh, some, with, the, with some pretty bad flirting. Um, and after that, Danny heads out, she's like, yeah, whatever. Um, so the clone finds her that well her yeah specifically as she heads out uh takes her hostage and then um she tells the clone the truth about what he is and he doesn't want to hear any of it and henry with the help of her manages to take him down by gathering all of that all of that information um even after he did a body search, which, you know, that seemed to be very thorough, thorough, but apparently not thorough enough to find the listening device, question mark. Um, okay. Bit, bit of a, um, oddity there. Uh, so, Henry is also trying to explain to the clone that he's in fact a clone, but he doesn't still believe it. Um... And then he tries to talk to him on the whole weapon thing of like when you can't love everyone, it it gives you some sort of reason to be a weapon or a more uh, more of, of an effective weapon because you don't have any attachments. So the clone is done hearing all of this, so that he decides to fight some more, going into the fisticuffs of it. A clash into the water, where we get that little short exposition from earlier, and then he's having trouble. Um, so they're fighting each other, um, and Danny helps out, and uh, the clone manages to get away. So they head to another location, Georgia, I think it was, and the clone returns to his dad, um, who lectures him about all of the stuff that he's not doing right or whatever. Um... Henry is then, we cut to Henry being taken down from some bee venom because it, at one of their talks, he talks about being allergic to bees. Um, so the clone takes out his chip, sort of wavering to the other side at this point. Um, and he talks to him about the clone, uh, sorry, about his mom. Um, and we learn that the clone's name is Clay currently. But I'll continue to just call him Clone for simplification. Um, and then he's told to run as um, Henry, 
Henry and Danny are being attacked, so they hide. Uh, and the clone runs into his father. Uh, meanwhile, Henry and da Danny are in this shootout fight. So the clone fights his father, quote unquote father, knocks him out. Henry and uh, Danny uh, kind of eventually come out with a bit of the help from the clone after the fact. And we see that another soldier uh, is sent to attack them, and both the three of them fight him off. Um, we see that he's able to take a lot more of a beating, he shot over and over, and we see that once he's finally able to take him down, that he's indeed another Henry clone. Um, so the father of the clone comes out, and his reasoning is a bit bizarre. He says that he wants to send out these machines, but they're clones. Um, and I don't know why you would get those two things confused. I mean, machines are made out of, you know, all these electronic parts and etc. etc. And clones are made out of, well, partial DNA. And I suppose there would probably some be some enhanced material there. But, you know, it would still be a clone in that sense. So the bad guy's motives made no sense. Um... Which kind of makes this movie fall apart in that aspect. Uh, and, and nonetheless, we see uh, Henry kill the father, uh, talk to his boss about retiring, and then uh, Danny getting a promotion. Uh, so we cut to the three of them, Henry, his clone, and Danny walking into school, and then Danny, uh, sorry, the clone, um, going through school and then they make and then Will Smith I assume uh, goes through all of the uh, clone jokes that he possibly could think of uh, and that's how the movie ends um while the action was nice I will say that the reasoning behind all of this made the movie really fall apart uh, again, with the whole machine versus clone aspect, it really made the villain fall apart um, at a, 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 all the seams. Um, and, you know, I th they had a, had a few character moments here and there, but I think the writing was still a little bit too wonky. Um, and that's the thing about movies now, at least from where I'm coming from, uh, you know, no matter the genre, I'm still going to be always looking for uh, how well written are the characters. And from there, from that baseline, um, you know, everything else can be amplified because everything is built off of that. Even, you know, when it's a horror movie, when it's a comedy, when it's an action movie like this, uh, again, the baseline for me is still build your characters in a very consistent, well-rounded way. And from there, your any genre, really, that you decide to tackle is going to be, again, amplified. And I don't think they did enough here in terms of what the character has going on for him. Um, and the bad guy's motives kind of, again, just really fall apart there. So uh, I'm going to give the movie... A 5 out of 10. Um, I think it needed a little bit more oomph in that regard. They did, again, some things here and there, which, again, is probably where those, where I would say those points come from. Um, and the action was decent enough, which, again, would probably resolve in that 5 out of 10, but they still needed to build up quite a bit more. So anyways, that is my review of Gemini Man, and if you enjoyed it, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Also make sure to check out those links in the description. One will head over to my Discord server, the other to my Patreon page. Any donations are desperately needed, and until next time everyone, bye bye